Hello learners, I welcome you to this session. In this session, we will discuss the unit 5 of financial accounting of become first semester. The earlier videos about this unit that is journal and subsidiary books we have discussed in the first video the journal meaning of journal then how to enter the transactions in the journal book etc. And in the second video we have discussed the different subsidiary books like purchase day book, sales day book etc. Now in this particular session we will discuss about ledger. In this session we will cover the following topics what is ledger its uh, meaning then the format of a ledger then the ledger posting how to post uh, transactions in the ledger rules of uh, posting and procedure how to post the transactions in the ledger book. Now let us first have a discussion on the concept of ledger. Well learners ledger is known as the book of final entry. It is also known as secondary book. Journal is known as the primary book. In journal we have recorded the transactions on the basis of date. The date of taking place each transaction and we have recorded on the base of those dates the transactions in the journal book. Now ledger in case of ledger all transactions relating to a particular account are posted in the concerned account in the ledger book. This ledger book is the collection of different accounts. After entering the transactions in journal we post them in the ledger book. So, ledger will have the different types of accounts. It may contain purchase account, sales account, salary account, wage account, etc. Then all the transactions from the journal to ledger will record in the particular account in the ledger book. That is why ledger is known as the book of final entry. Now let us have a look on the format of a ledger. Generally this particular format is followed. You see date particulars JF amount. It is written on both the sides. The left hand side is known as debit and the right hand side the same columns are there date particulars JF amount. So, right hand side is known as credit side of the ledger account. Now, in this particular format we have shown that we have written JF it means journal folio the page number of journal book. Now, what is ledger posting? As we have mentioned this term ledger posting, what the ledger posting means? Ledger posting means transferring transactions from journal book to ledger book. So, very simply we will transfer all the transactions from the journal to the respective accounts in the ledger book. That transferring of transactions from the journal to ledger is known as ledger posting. Now, there are certain rules that need to be followed while we post the transactions from journal to ledger. First of all, we have to open the account in the ledger book. For example, suppose uh, we are entering the transactions relating to purchase account. In that case, we have to see whether there is a purchase account in the ledger book or not. If it is not there, we have to open it in the format given in this way. Then all the transactions relating to a particular account should be posted to the related account. Means all the transactions in our case the purchase account, all the transactions related to purchase account will be recorded in the purchase account. Now the debit aspect of the transaction in the journal should be recorded or should be posted on the debit side of the concern account means first of all we have to consider the transaction in the journal book. The debit account have to be first considered and the debit aspect 
in the ledger, we will consider the debit aspect of the ledger and we will record the entry. What we will record? Uh, we will discuss it. Now, credit aspect. The credit aspect of a particular transaction in the journal book have to be posted in the ledger. So, again we will consider the credit aspect of uh, the transaction in the journal and to post them in the in that particular ledger, we will consider the credit aspect of the ledger. So, on that credit side of the ledger, a particular account will be recorded. To have a clear understanding of this procedure or rules, let us have an example first. The example is purchase goods for rupees 10,000. For your convenience, we have just uh, shown here the journal entry first here. So, uh, purchase account debit to cash account. This is the journal that we have entered in the journal book for the above transaction, purchase goods for rupees 10,000. It is a very simple transaction and we have recorded it as purchase account debit to cash account. Means, cash account is credited and purchase account is debited in the journal and the narration is given as being goods purchased. This is a cash purchase transaction and we have entered this in the journal. Now, let us move to ledger posting, how to post this particular transaction from the journal to the ledger. So, in the ledger book, we open the purchase account. The columns are same, date, particular JF amount on the debit side and date, particular JF amount on the credit side. If you see on the debit side of the ledger, we have recorded two cash account under the particulars column. So, if you see the transaction in the journal book, you will see purchase account debit to cash account. So, as purchase account is debited in the journal, in the ledger book, in the purchase account, we have considered the debit side of purchase account and recorded the credit account. Please see this transaction again, purchase account debit to cash account. So, we have posted the purchase account, the debit aspect from the journal to the ledger. Now, our purpose is to transfer the cash account, means the credit account in the journal to the respective account in the ledger book. So, this time the cash account in the ledger book have to be located. So, we have entered the transaction in this way. On the credit side of the ledger account, we have recorded means we have posted and what we have recorded it is the purchase account means we have considered the credit aspect as the cash account is on the credit side of the journal book and in the ledger book we consider the credit side of cash account and recorded the debit account by purchase account by means the debit account. So, in this way the debit aspect and credit aspect of each transaction in the journal are transferred to the respective accounts in the ledger book. So, in this session we have discussed about the ledger that ledger is a book of final entry. Then we have discussed the transferring of transactions from journal book to ledger book. This is known as ledger posting and we have discussed the rules of posting, how to post the transactions. Thank you very much.